and welcome to the 2nd of June. Today is hashtag Black Tuesday, which basically means we, that care, have decided not to post onto social media today. I am filming, but this won't be posted until later on. So this is all about um, basically showing that all humans count all humans count doesn't matter about race doesn't matter about color doesn't matter about faith we are all human and we all matter the footage that i have been watching on the television with regards to mr george floyd is absolutely heartbreaking how one human can treat another human in that way how that police officer could keep his knee in mr george floyd's neck throat windpipe pressed down when the man was pleading that he couldn't breathe when he was shouting on his mama how he could continue to do that when Mr. George Floyd lost consciousness and he continued to keep his knee in his throat, heartbreaking, and how people could just watch is beyond me. We must realise that all humans matter. I couldn't open up a vlog today without expressing what has been going on and not just with Mr. George Floyd, with so many others. So many people are treated like this for years because of racism. It must stop. Racism must stop. We are all human. Yeah. Lily, where's your hair gone? Look. Lily, you dreamy. Where's your big head gone? Hey, where's your big head going? Hey, you look like a poodle today. Does it feel better? We've cut her more like a poodle than a Bichon. Lily! Lily! Are you being camera shy? Where's your big head going? Oh, your big lion head gone to the shove it off. When we gonna give them into trouble? Yeah, because you, you, you took your big head away. And you're supposed to have a big head because you are a bichon. And they took your big head away. Mummy was making sure she was brushing you. So we know there wasn't any knots there. Eh? Lily. Where your big head gone? Where's your big lion head gone? Then my beautiful girl. Look at my poor peony. I just cut that this morning from my great big bushes there. I've got lots of them there. And now it's all falling apart. I was so proud of my little display from my garden. Oh dear. I've just hoovered as well. I need to bring the hoover back in. <sighs> Hello and welcome to the 3rd of June. The third's not one of my favourite days, but hey ho, this one's been okay so far. Rico and I are taking Lily for a walk. We're going to walk to uh, Aldi's and uh, pick up some... Ice lollies. Ice lollies. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the discussion is, will Rico go in, who will just go in for exactly what we want, or will I go in and get everything but what we want? <laughs> So uh, that's a discussion just now. I think it's going to be more fun if I go in. Come on, Lily. Lily, go. Oh. So, uh, yeah. This is this is a typical summer's day in Scotland, as you can see. I have a fleece on, I have a coat on, and I have sunglasses on. This is our typical summer's day. So what we have been having those glorious summer days. And now are we? Hopefully they come back and we can enjoy more nice weather in the garden and meeting up with our family in the garden because it's more fun when it's sunny and warm. So 
that's all that's been going. We'll do a little haul. I'm sure we will once we've uh, gone shopping. Or I've gone shopping. And uh, yes, yeah, so uh, somebody's just noticed that I am vlogging. There we go, those in the background. Just seems to fascinate people when you uh, get the camera out and chat to the camera. I kind of think it's more of a normal thing now. So many people are doing it. So many people are on YouTube just now, but it still kind of gets people looking. And I, I'm getting more relaxed about it now. I'm getting to the point where I don't care. Whereas before, it, oh my God, somebody's looking at me and the camera would go away. And Rico would always say to me, why are you putting the camera away? Da, da, da. But I'm getting more, I'm getting better at it now. And I suppose the more people are finding out about my channel, the easier it's getting so yeah <laughs> that's brave Andrew speaking so right arms getting sore so I'm gonna put you back in my oh I was gonna say I was gonna put you back in my bag but let me show you what bag it's probably one of my most comfortable bags worry free bags one that I've had for years and still love it's my little I've got Lily pulling at me here look so it's my Gucci messenger bag. This is actually from the men's department. I absolutely love it. And it fits so much. And what if we? Buy any more. Okay, so it's been decided I'm going in. There's no queue, yay! No queue. So uh, let's go do this. You're going in my pocket just now. Okay. <laughs> the deed is done. We are now going home with two bags full of shopping. And do you know the joyous thing about this? It's all uphill with the shopping. You struggling? I'm not struggling at all, honey. <laughs> Just carry on walking in front of me so don't walk Oh my over. god. Look, there's one bag. Rico's got the other bag somewhere. Okay, now the lovely task of uh, the antibacterial spray and all that. Let's do this. So I have started spraying the items or some of them. So here we have two packets of Jamaican jerk chicken. Delicious. So these are an easy meal. An easy meal for when we can't be bothered to cook basically so just stick them in the oven or fry some farmhouse mushroom patty some viennese milk chocolate dipped fingers and then i wonder why i put on weight some dairy milk medley oh, yummy some treats for lily toothbrush treats some ice cream and bananas we have some scottish butteries we have some smoked paprika. We have some macro and oil, some macro and tomato, some sardines and tomato, almond ice lollies, and some salted caramel ice lollies, and some raw whole Argentinian red shrimps. We can see these are the pink type. I got two packets of them. Some more Scottish butteries some hoops aldi's version of hula hoops some barbecue rib potato snacks and some snacker jacks which are kind of rice crisps okay we also have some memphis barbecue chicken goujons you can hear the spray is uh, getting to me so this is the spray that i use um we have some salted caramel cookies we have some snackers which are aldi's version of pringles some microwave popcorn because i had a notion for it sauvignon blanc uh pinot gris and a chardonnay and that's our lot <laughs> Thank you.
I have done my exercise. I've probably inserted some of that footage just before opening up today's vlog. Uh, I am ready. We are going to film a food and wine review. So Rico is getting prepped for that. And yeah, I've got an order in the garage which I want to bring in, an Amazon order. So I'm going to bring that in and I don't know if I'm going to do a separate Amazon video or put it on this vlog here. It's not that many things. Mm, might just put it onto this vlog. Shall we go and get them? At the garage, they've been, you know. Right, but it's two different returns. Right. Sorry. Rico's organizing our returns for me as well. It's two different returns. Okay. Uh, my returns from Zara. So if you've seen my Zara, I'm gonna I've got it edited. Actually, see the laptop sitting right there. I've got it edited. So I'm gonna get that ready, get that uploaded as well. So there's quite a few things going back, but I will link that video down below. Okay, this is also one of my recent purchases from Zara. My little blouse. I'm loving it, and so are my jeans, which I wouldn't recommend because I don't think they're very well made. That's my stretchy jeans should we go to the mirror let me show you in the mirror so that was the blouse recent purchase you, i suppose most would wear a camisole underneath it i haven't these are the stretchy jeans which i actually really loved because they are really comfortable they're high-waisted and what i tend to do when i pull my um jeans up is i pull them up from the loops the belt loops and i've ripped it so not very well made but yeah, that's kind of today's outfit. Okay. Here's my Amazon delivery. Here's my pile of things that are going back. Here's my pile of things that I'm keeping. Right, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath because I was in the garage organising those things. Right, let me tidy up these and then I'll show you what we got from Amazon. I'm worried about one of the items because it's glass let's do this i feel as if i'm in here with the light on i feel as if i should have a glass of uh, wine in my hand but uh, we'll be getting to the wine with the food review okay that's the area cleared so we can unbox that and i've also stripped the bed today which i've started doing on a saturday for some strange reason 
so I think it was about Easter time I started and I've kind of just stuck to Saturday right before we do this let me tell you now that I remember the lipstick I have on because it's so hard because this will get edited for probably another week so by then I'm like was that a Charlotte Tilbury or was it a Chanel or you know so it is Marilyn Charlotte Tilbury and the liner that I've got on with it is Lip Cheat Charlotte Tilbury Kiss and Tell so that's the lipstick and on my nails my nails have been so bad because and you'll see this in my empties Rico got me this have I told you this before I can't remember but anyway Rico got me this Cutex nail varnish remover and it basically removed my nails so this is the one that I normally use so my nails I've got these ones are starting to come back but uh, yeah anyway so it is Chanel what's this called Mirage that's the last one I got I'm refusing to look at nails I'm refusing to look at nail colours just now okay let me put you up on the light and let's talk about what I have bought see I feel as if I should say hello and welcome to my channel I'm Andre as soon as I sit down on the seat it's kind of automatic right let me put you up here okay here we are cheers right okay enough of all that so first item I've ordered myself some more magnesium because I'm needing some more magnesium the last one Epsilon was it I think it was Epsilon magnesium from uh, Amazon I couldn't get that one so I kind of looked into them again it took me a while to find another one that I like so this is a big jar it has 240 tablets in it so I hope it works for me so this is 1480 milligrams providing 444 milligrams of elemental magnesium now i can't remember but that's not in one tablet form amount per serving that's a lot of magnesium right gonna, i want to see the size of the tablet let me go get some scissors so i can snap this open because i i really don't like to take big tablets so let me see okay so i've just looked at the diet the uh, directions for use and it says to take two capsules per day so I'm assuming that's the serving so yeah it's, it's all sealed but I'm going to open it up because I've, I've really got only a couple of tablets left I just want to see oh they're a lovely size oh, they are bigger than my other ones and that's what I really liked about the other ones I liked the size of them and they were really really easy to swallow so they are bigger but anyway, I've got them now and there's 240 of them to get through. So I normally take one in the morning and one at night. Okay, next item in here is more vitamins. So these are the Mega Mineral Complex. So these, these have got different um, minerals in them. There's calcium, phosphorus, there's magnesium in here. There's so iron, zinc, copper uh, and lots of other ones chromium and iodine boron and other ones that i don't know but uh, yeah i wanted like a multi type of mineral vitamin type thing so that one i'm all about the vitamins these days i'm sure i got a vitamin d as well yeah there we go i got vitamin d3 as well it says easy to swallow let's have a look at what size these are as well i hate big tablets i've got some vitamin c ones downstairs that are really really hard to swallow oh my goodness gracious me wait till you see the size of these <laughs> oh man i am not looking forward to taking all of these Okay, back to the vitamin D. And I'm going to go downstairs and take all of these today. I haven't actually taken my other ones yet, so I need to take my other ones. Oh, please be small. Please be small. I tried to take, get Rico to take vitamins as well, but he just did not have any of it. Oh, I need a little tiny ones. These are nice and small. Look, can we see? 
Can we see these are nice little tiny ones? They'll be nice and easy to take. How many of these do we think we need to take? So what are these? They're definitely easy to swallow. No artificial colours and flavourings and GMO free. I kind of look for all these things when I'm taking tablets, especially with migraines. I don't want any bulking agents. So um, sugar, vitamin D3, uh, 100 milligrams. Uh, each serving contains, right, caution, suggested juice. Take one soft gel daily with a full glass of water. So one a day, they'll be easy to take. Okay, next item, I got some kohlrabi. I think that's how you say it. I've only recently learnt what how to what the word the English word for kohlrabi is. We call them gulumbres in Cyprus in Greek. And I absolutely love them. My mum used to always have these in the house and she used to cut them up as a snack for us and you just put salt and lemon on them. I absolutely love them. And I've never been able to get them in Scotland. I've never seen anybody that sells them in Scotland. And uh, so I normally get my fix when we go to Cyprus or when I visit my son in Milton Keynes, going to London and buy some. But with this lockdown and this virus that's going on, we're not getting anyway. So I thought, get some seeds and plant some. So I've got some of these and I'm waiting for some artichokes to come as well. That was part of my order. I think they're gonna come in the next few days. So I'll show you on the vlog as well. So I'm saying I'm gonna plant them, but it'll probably be Rico. That's what they are. If you don't know what they are, that's what they look like. Mm. And they take about seven weeks, roughly, to grow. So, um, yeah, Cavola, Rapada, ba 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 ba. Kind of, they're called kind of a, a cabbage here, but that's what they look like. There we go. That's what they look like. So, get them planted, and I'll show you them. I'll show you when they're growing, and if we manage to get a kohlrabi or a gulumbra. Mm lovely just nice for a snack we snack okay that's them i don't know how many seeds there's in there it sounds like plenty but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna plant them all at once anyway so yeah we'll see how we get on with them i'll vlog it i will vlog them planting them or whatever okay this was the item I was worried about. There's one more item, but I'm gonna take the box and take the last item out. So, let's have a look at this. So this is the glass item. And pop, 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 do you like to pop, pop, pop? We all like to pop, pop, pop. It is wine glasses. And these are actually red wine glasses, but I like a large glass for wine. And actually the, the white ones, the ones for the white wine, were sold out. This is what they look like. They're very different to anything I have. I have lots of crystal glasses in my unit in the dining room. And I have kind of the ones that we use every day, the ones you kind of see me saying cheers with that we use, but uh, just got my I'm trying not to ruin my nails because I don't want to have to sit and do them again because you know me and my nails, I hate to get them. Right, so I hope these are all lovely. So that's the packaging. And these were actually quite expensive, but both Rico and I are quite particular on our glasses and we tend to like a different glass. But Oh, they feel very, very light. He did like these when I showed them to him. And there they are. I will link all these items below. Very nice. It's a very, very light glass. They are handmade. Very nice. So we'll be using these today for our, our wine review. So I think the white w wine ones, the quite difficult to say. I think the white wine ones are kind of longer and slimmer but that same kind of size. So light. It's so so it's such a light glass. I think Rico's gonna like that one. So that's for the red wine and these were about £40 and you only get four of them so they're about £10 a glass. 
so um, yeah, very nice. I do like them. Something different. Cheers! See, did manage to get cheers. Okay, we'll put them away because I'm going to go and wash them. I'm going to hand wash them. I hand wash all my wine glasses anyway because they don't last in the dishwasher. We'll put them down there and we'll get onto the last item which is a bag. Yes, it's a bum bag. Now, if you're into bags, you'll know that all the high-end bag people, i.e. Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Dior, Prada, all of them, they're all doing bum bags. And really, when they came out with the bum bags, I was like, no way. No, no way am I going to be wearing a bum bag. But with recent events, I decided I need one. And it really started me when I started running. And although I'm not really needing my inhaler, although, <laughs> although I'm not really needing my inhaler, it's like a what if kind of situation. So I carry it with this. When I'm running, I tend to stick it down inside my running top and catch it somewhere and it sits there and I'm holding my phone and if Rico's not in I have to take keys so I tuck them in somewhere as well so I thought do you know what get yourself a wee bum bag and I looked again at all the reviews and I am really impressed with the quality this had great reviews and I asked the question will it fit my phone will it fit my um, inhaler will it fit like a sanitizer and the answer came back yes it will fit all of them and what I discovered as well there's this pocket at the back of it and it feels like really soft material so you could put a water bottle in the back there if you wanted to just in there that would fit a good size water bottle it's a flat bum bag it has the big pocket here and it has two inner pockets as well so you could put credit cards and things like that in there could fit your keys and it also has so if your earphones have the wires they just come through there so you would keep your phone in there and then just thread through the wires for your earphones through there really honestly impressed you could put your sunglasses in that bit there if you wanted so I'm really really impressed at Really, really impressed. And I intend to pack this and always have it packed for when we take Lily a walk. Because when I'm going to take Lily a walk, make sure I've got an inhaler, make sure I've got a sanitizer, doggy bags, blah, blah, blah. So I'm always going to keep it packed for Lily. So that's the inhaler in there. And that's the hand sanitizer. And I would put my phone in there as well. I could probably fit my phone. Do I have my phone here? No. I could probably fit. Let me go and get my phone. Let's see. Okay, I'm back. So, I got got my glasses as well. So, if if you wanted, normally when I'm running, I'm wearing my glasses. So, but if you didn't want to wear them and just have them with you, look, they just plenty of room for your glasses, and the, there's a slight padding to the whole bum bag as well. So, I've got my inhaler and sanitizer, and. Ooh. and my phone which it does fit there you go and then you've got that there but what I will say is once you fill that up I don't know if you would be able to fit a water bottle in there but ideal so I could put kind of Lily's doggy bags in there poo bags as well so yeah and it's got a nice adjustable strap as well so I am very happy with that. And Rico can use that as well. The other day, he needed to carry keys and things with him when he went cycling. So he can use that as well quite happily. So, yeah. Now let me go and take all these vitamins and I'll let you know what I think of them. <laughs> See the size of those magnesium ones. That is why I liked the Epsilon ones. I'll see if Rico's ready to do this food and wine review. We're doing fish and chips today. Yummy, 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 yummy. And then I'm going to go and wash my glasses so we can use them. Yay! Right, let's go do this. I have to move this light downstairs and everything. Okay, I just took all my vitamins and 
they were alright, except for that multivitamin one, mineral one, whatever it was. I had to cut that in half, I wasn't even going to try and swallow that one. Um, the first one I took, which was my vitamin C one, which was from my original ones, got stuck in my throat. I could feel myself getting panicked that I was going to ch choke. I was like, calm down. But it went down, I kind of went, <coughs> anyway. We are now going to get ready. I'm going to change my memory card and we're going to start our food review. I drank it. Damn greedy man. <laughs> Rico is missing a magnum of um, Whispering Angel but there was too much going on here so I just put it away. So this is a magnum which is a double bottle. So there's two bottles in one bottle. Yeah. So we have two of them. One's put away. Okay. Just for the record, they all rise like that. What? It's a bottle, a double bottle. Yeah. And then it's four bottles in one. Right, okay. What's the four bottle called? I can't remember. Oh, that's not good. See? See, Rico? A Methuselah, maybe. <laughs> you started a, this? I think it's a Methuselah. I can't remember. And then it goes up a Nebuzar and a Salamanza, whatever they call them. And it goes right up to 16 bottles is I think the biggest. But how do you even pour, pour one eight, of them? You need, you need a crate to pour it. Alright, okay. He is, he's in wine mode already. Oh, absolutely. He's in wine mode. So, uh, right, we're to get started or we're never going to eat. Let's get our fish supper. It's five o'clock. Five o'clock and we haven't even started cooking. Just as well as a quick dinner today. Quick. Right. <laughs> Nothing's quick in this world. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. We'll catch you. If you want to see what Rico's cooking today, remember to check out the food and wine that Rico cooks. Okay? Right, we better get started. 